I have to honestly say, and I know a lot of people do this, but I actually mean it. I think my peers here on TikTok and the listeners to the Rational Boomer podcast are some of the best audience you could possibly ever have. I mean, I absolutely love them. 99.9% of what I get is all positive, and that's a lot better than most people get. So I'm appreciative. But every so often you get some negative ones, or you get some ones that are fans and they say something interesting. It doesn't hurt my feelings. It doesn't make me mad. I just find it funny. I got a DM recently from somebody. Won't give the name. I won't even read the DM. I'll tell you basically what it said. They came in and said, Mike, I really love you. I love your content. I love your show. I love your TikToks. And I'm so glad you're getting better over this cold. But the last part, she says, but if you don't get better... Could you just run some best ofs on the Rational Boomer podcast? (laughs) I get it, man. It's not always that easy to listen to somebody with a cold. But I got to tell you, it's a lot harder to do it when you have a fucking cold. The problem here is, is that I feel a responsibility to provide a podcast every day. I always do it. People expect it. And I'm going to do it. Now, the idea of running the best of, that would be fucking wonderful. There are so many times when I thought, man, I need to run a best of. But in the content I do, it's about news, it's about current news, it's about politics. So I even go back a week, everything I said in that podcast is irrelevant. I have a shelf life on my podcast. I can't run a best of. So you're either going to have to tough it through as I do, or just turn it off for a while until old Mike gets better. Trust me, I'm getting better and uh, I will get through this thing, but I'm a 63-year-old man. I don't pop back like I did when I was 23. Thanks for all the emails and the DMs. Keep them coming. I appreciate it. You know that I read the emails on the podcast, so send as many as you can, rationalboomer at gmail.com.